so serious. In the months leading up to the release of The Dark Knight, an alternate reality game attracted more than 10 million unique players to real-time Gotham City. A city where the Joker left his mark on posters and bills and started building an army of henchmen all over the world. At Comic-Con, players gathered to take their first orders from the Joker. Working with players online, they scavenged for clues and found a big one typed out in the sky. I saw a bunch of jets writing a phone number. So we dialed that phone number and there's this little message. If you want to be part of my crew, you're going to need to prove you're up to the challenge. Players hit the streets dressed as their leader, and Gotham City began to spill out into the real world, building excitement and anticipation for the Dark Knight. Their efforts put together yet another piece of the puzzle. And tonight you're gonna break your one rule. A request to hit local landmarks in full Joker makeup. From London to the Middle East, to Pennsylvania, to India, a worldwide community formed a chosen community, and a newspaper led them further into the world. A world where nothing was safe from the Joker. You want to know what the school building is? Check out document LC65 by one. Where corrupt cops shame the city. Internal affairs, hands on the table. I'll take your sidearms and we'll all go downtown. And where players picked up cakes at bakeries across America with a hidden package inside. A Joker phone to keep in constant contact with the world of Gotham City. A world they could choose to join in any way they wanted, like a campaign to take back Gotham City. Hello, I'm Harvey Dent, Assistant District Attorney of Gotham City. I'm calling to ask for your support. Harvey Dent contacted players by phone and email and asked them to show their support. The response was overwhelming. Pictures streamed in. Dentmobiles brought Harvey Dent's message of change to 33 cities throughout the country. Citizens took to the streets, marched, protested, rallied, screamed, and chanted. What does hitting somebody with a pillow have to do with Harvey Dent? The pillow fight is just way of saying, you know what? We're not going to take any more, but we're not going to do anything illegal and criminal. You're wearing a button for Harvey, Harvey Dent. Dent. There it is. See it? I believe in Harvey Dent. Truly, there it is. The immersive marketing campaign was reaching a critical mass. Gotham City even reached into bowling alleys around the world. ClownTravelAgency.com has a list of cities around the world. And on Tuesday, these addresses started showing up. At first, I thought it was an April Fool's joke. We knew that it was going to be a locker number and a, and a combination locker. Pull the bag out and everyone around me was like, open it, open it, open it. My first reaction was just like, there's all these people around, grab the bag and get out. Just go. And when a trail of clues led players to an exclusive trailer of The Dark Knight, the Joker got there first. And the news burst out onto the web. It was big but not as big as what happened the week of the Dark Knight premiere. On Tuesday, hundreds of Gotham City residents, calling themselves citizens for Batman, gathered in downtown New York City. And then at 10 p.m. sharp, they saw it, the bat signal. They didn't know what was coming. All they knew was that online clues sent them to the site. But the Joker had plans of his own. In front of everyone's eyes, the beloved bat signal was defaced, along with everything else in Gotham City. From websites to videos to submissions, the Joker left his mark. 